Hey, this is Linz, and you are watching Support the Scene. Hey, uh, this is Jade from Support the Scene, and I'm here with Daniel. Why don't you... Good afternoon, Jade. Yeah. Um, for those who don't know you, why don't you do a short introduction? So, my name is Daniel James. I play with a progressive rock and roll group called Brass Camel, and uh, we are putting together a flood relief benefit called Floodstock, which is going to be happening on Friday, December 10th at the wonderful Rickshaw Theater. Can, can you briefly explain what happened here in, in BC? Well, BC was hit with what they call an atmospheric river, where we, we, we received over a month's worth of rainfall in a day. Um, in the interior, we've dealt with some nasty forest fires over the last year, couple of years here. Um, caused terrible landslides and we in the um, the lower mainland here in the vet in fraser valley abbotsford and, and chilliwack severe flooding um because it uh, it's below sea level uh, the sumas floodplain there um absolutely drenched um a ton of livestock has been has been lost and uh homes lost and it's a pretty dire scenario so thank you for all your work and your effort in uh into this now, what everyone's been waiting for, who's who, who's playing on this? We've got a pretty fantastic list of, uh, of Vancouver rock and roll bands together for this night. So, of course, uh, Brass Camel will be playing at some point that night. Um, but we have got Old Soul Rebel. We've got J.P. Maurice. We've got uh, Chase the Bear, Rain City, Wozniak, Spendo, Crooked Rider, Bad Magic, and the History of Gunpowder playing. So, I love uh, it. Love it. Pretty phenomenal uh, list of, of very, very talented and uh, and accomplished acts on the bill, and it's it's going to be a hell of a time. And you know, thankfully, we've got a uh, a wonderfully competent, and experienced stage manager on deck to make sure everything uh, runs nice and smooth. And just brought on Larry Hennessy from um, from Jack FM, who's going to be emceeing the night. Love it. And it's it's, it's going to be a, a hell of a time. And um, with any luck, we're going to be able to raise quite a bit of money and uh, and donate it to the Canadian Red Cross BC Disaster Relief Fund. Um, so with any luck, that'll go to some folks who could really use it right now. Now, speaking of which, how much are tickets? Can people donate uh, at the event? Can, is there a link for people to donate if they can't make it? What's, uh, how, how yes, are you? Yes, absolutely. Doing? It's it's all coming together right now. Um, as of Wednesday morning, this event wasn't a thing. So in the last few days, it's really started to materialize here. We are going to be announcing the event tomorrow at 11 a.m. Um, so that uh, that will be live on the Rickshaw website, on, on social media there. We will have um, the ticket link um, available immediately. We are just working right now with uh, with a partner that we're bringing on board on the gig um, to be able to run a raffle in a 50-50 because we did uh, need a gambling permit to make that happen. And it looks like that is a go. So. We've already got a, um, a couple businesses, including White Rock Tattoo and International Motorsports, that have, down, or, uh, have donated some some killer packages for a raffle draw. We'll also be running a 50-50. And yes, donations will be available um, as well. We're trying our best right now to find a corporate par partner who might be able to match our donations. Um, we are sending as many emails and calls and voicemails as we can because that would be phenomenal. So if anybody's got a lead on a, uh, a massive corporation who would like to uh, match our donations for the night and increase the haul and help these uh, independent musicians out with doing some good, that would be phenomenal. But um, in any case, yes, if you can't make the event, there will be ways to donate to the, the Floodstock uh, cause and to the Red Cross. It's going to be incredible. Now, with your band, Brass Camel, are you pulling out any new stuff? Are you keeping it classic? Like are you making anything a little special for this event what do you can anything you can you can tell us might have to uh, might have to come out to bloodstock and find out we, we actually are looking to get into the uh into the studio in december here we'd like to be putting out a release in march um, because as as brass camel we we haven't put out an album yet so it'll be nice to have a proper brass camel debut album yes and, um odds are there'll be one or two new songs making their way into this set for bloodstock here and uh, we've got a, a couple other little surprises. Might might be an all-star jam to end the night as well. So it will be worth sticking around from the beginning till the end. 
fantastic of course thank you so much for your time uh i can't wait to uh talk to all the artists and to keep uh promoting such a fantastic event amazing so appreciated jade have a great day there you too thanks for watching this is support the scene make sure to subscribe hit the bell follow and share